Hey everyone, Philip from Scan Unlimited, and in today's video, uh, we're going to be doing a feature highlight video for the newly released V3 beta application. If you're interested in checking out any of the features that we're going to go over uh, today, I encourage you to head over to um, the beta, which you can get to by visiting beta.scanunlimited.com. And, uh, you know, try out all these features for yourself. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the beta app now. Okay, we're in the beta application now. Um, if you're still in the production application, all you have to do is uh, click the little person icon in the top right. And there should be a button right here that says try beta. It says back to production because I'm in, currently in beta. Um, this way, that's a, one way to get to the application. And you would sign in with your, it's going to ask for your sign in. So just sign in as you normally would, uh, you know, logging into the production scan unlimited account. So uh, it should be the same. And when you log in, you'll notice that um, everything will kind of look the same uh, on the dashboard and th uh, throughout most of the application, um, the V3 beta really focuses on specifically like the viewing of scans. So uh, the processing of scans, Scan Limited has always done very well. It's very fast, it processes very accurately, but the viewing of scans has always kind of been a little clunky, at least not as uh, smooth as I'd like it to be. So with that said, let's go ahead and open up a scan now. So the first improvement that we made, and in my opinion, is one of my favorite because uh, maybe I'm impatient, but uh, we significantly reduce the amount of loading uh, time when interacting with the scan, right? So I'm not specifically talking about the time you're waiting for a scan to process, which is not really long at all, but if you're familiar with the production application, you, you know that like doing anything will cause a loading spinner. So for example, if I go into, um, let's say I sort by estimated sales, right? Just a simple clicking of the sort would actually cause you to get a loading spinner. Or for example, I want to um, apply a filter that would also cause a loading spinner or even like going to the next page, uh, which I guess I've already filtered this for some reason. Let me clear the filters here. Actually, that's another one. Clearing the filters would normally show a loading spinner, but you know, going to the next page would show a loading spinner. So as you can see, basically most of the loading uh, spinners are gone. Uh, the new setup for the new table here is much faster, uh, has much better performance. So I know that it's going to be a lot faster to actually get your work done. Um, so that's definitely uh, one of my favorite improvements of V3. Okay, so let's talk about managing columns. Uh, for V3, we really wanted to focus on uh, simplifying like the viewing of a scan. Um, believe it or not, for those that are have been with us for a long time, uh, and you know you've been here for a long time if uh, you know when this toolbar was black at one point, not green, that was our version one, uh, we actually had a very simplified view of a scan. Uh, most scans would actually fit within your screen. There would be no scrolling or anything like that, and we had very basic filters and sorting. Um, and then as we grew and people asked for new things like presets and more complex filters and all kinds of things, um, you know, it, it, it almost kind of compounded on top of itself to get more complicated. So we really wanted to keep everything, all the features that we had, but we wanted to really rethink how we show that to the user and remove anything that's kind of duplicated. Um, so, uh, that means that the side nav for filters and managing columns is gone because it was really redundant to have the side nav, uh, when everything can just be done, uh, directly on the scan itself. 
So I'll give you an example. Uh, reordering of columns would normally be done through the side nav. But now, if you wanted to reorder a column, you simply uh, drag and drop headers. And you'll see that, you know, you get this nice animation of the columns moving around. So that's how you reorder columns. It's actually a, a very intuitive to do it this way versus, you know, going into a side nav and reordering it there. Another thing that we added was resizing um, columns in version two, um, you know, were static, like the size of them. So now uh, you can resize them by just dragging, um, yeah, just dragging the columns resize, or you can actually double click kind of similar in Excel. You can double click a column to kind of auto fit the content. Uh, so, so that's like a quick way to kind of really compact the, uh, the data if, if that's what you want. Um, now that might kind of bring up some, uh, a question here for some users that have already noticed this is that, well, if there's no side nav, how am I supposed to hide and show the columns, right? Cause there's nothing here that early, uh, directly on the scan lets you do that. What we did for column visibility is we made a modal. Um, so you just click that. Yeah. Three dots and click column visibility and you get presented with this modal here and you'll see all of your columns from your scan and you can simply just uh, check off the ones you want to see and uncheck anything you want to hide and you'll see without loading or any loading spinners um, those columns disappear uh, it's also searchable so if you're trying to find like length there you go now let's go over the filtering so again we, since we removed the side nav um, filters are now applied directly on a scan, which in production currently, that's the way it has always been in V2, for example. Um, and that's kind of one reason why we removed the side now because it was just uh, redundant to have both filters here on the scan as well as in the side nav. So, uh, so you would just go into the header here, the header cell, and you'll be presented with a little drop down and you can put in your filters here. Um, some added functionality here is actually we added more um, kind of operations uh, for you to filter by. So for example, in range is a new uh, filter that you can apply so that you can say like, for example, I want to see between 1000 and 5,000. And if you noticed, the table filtered immediately without any loading. So next, let's go over the presets. So again, since we don't have the side nav, presets have been kind of reimagined and uh, it's done and managed directly on a scan. So right here in the top right, you'll see a little drop down. Uh, it says presets. This is where you'll deal with everything related to presets. So you can click here and you can see that I have some presets saved. And at any time I can just click a preset and it will apply that preset immediately. No loading. Um, let's say, for example, I wanted to create a new preset. Well, you could just click down here, create new preset give your preset a name, like my new preset, save, and that's how you create a preset. Let's say you want to assign a default preset, which we had the functionality of this back in V2, but you would have to go into your global settings to actually set this. Um, you can set a default preset simply by pressing the heart icon. And for anybody that doesn't know what a default preset is, it's that when you open a scan, instead of just showing you all the results at like immediately when you open, it will immediately apply your default preset first and then show you the results. It just saves the step of like, you know, if you have a preset that you, that you always like to apply to a scan, no matter what, then default presets are the way to go. 
Uh, so that's what this uh, heart icon does. And if for any reason you need to get rid of a preset, you just come into here and you press the little trash can, delete, preset is deleted. So that is a uh, simplified preset filter manager um, that I think everyone's going to really appreciate because fil uh, presets were a little confusing. Um, and I think this really cleans it up quite a bit. Now in V2, we really didn't focus so much on the downloaded file that you would get if you downloaded your scan. Uh, the reason being is that scan, like there are already scan tools out there on the market um, that focused on having your output into Excel. Uh, so we created Scan Unlimited as one of the first scan tools to actually be web-based. Uh, actually, I believe we were the first. So that's kind of why we always focused on the web experience rather than focusing much time on the downloaded uh, file. However, with V3, uh, we had some time to kind of cater to those users that really like to use the downloaded file, even though there's plenty of extra features in the web application. Um, but we wanted to clean up the downloaded file so that it better matched w what data you see here uh, inside of the web view. So downloading a scan, you just go to the three dots at the top, click download pretty quickly. The, uh, let me move my head here. The CSV file will download. So here you'll see that like the power up columns are now included inside of the scan. Uh, all the data is complete. And so this way you can take a look at uh, all your data in your favorite spreadsheet uh, program editor. Uh, and so there's, there's no issues with that anymore. Another feature of the V3 beta is that IP complaints are now a dedicated column. Uh, so this is something that a lot of users were requesting the ability to filter for IP complaints. Um, this also, by the way, shows up in the CSV download. So you'll also have that information there. Um, and in the, in the web view, uh, you can simply come into the filter here. You can say show brands with IP complaints, without IP complaints. Uh, the whole data set is complete. So like you, meaning like you, it, it's not just applying to the first page, it's looking through your whole scan. So you can quickly remove any uh, brands that are known for filing IP complaints if you so wish. Uh, that's, that's an option now. So those are the major features that come along with the V3 beta. Um, there are still a few minor features that I didn't go over. So for example, when you click a row, it will remain highlighted. These small little quality of life improvements that we added in there, um, you'll kind of kind of discover them as you uh, experiment with the beta itself. Please uh, reach out to us with any feedback that you have uh, when experimenting with the features. Uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts and uh, we may be able to implement them uh, into the beta before moving into production if we get the feedback early enough. Our plan is to continue improving the application even after the V3 beta gets into production. Um, and uh, hopefully this beta kind of shows you guys that that's basically what we've been doing this whole time. We listen to uh, all the sellers um, and just constantly make improvements um, to the application. So I appreciate all the feedback you guys have been giving us throughout the years and uh, we plan to continue adding features uh, into the future. Thanks again. Take care.